So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and log into our dashboard of KV Core to show you how to find this. This is our dashboard. Now I'm going to hover over marketing and hover over core present and it's right here. All right. That is how you get to core present. Now what is it? It is a really awesome like instant CMA tool, CMA presentation tool that you can use to generate a CMA that looks really really good and can be sent to your client or prospective client pretty much immediately. So, for example, I am going to try to win the offer, create for a buyer. You could also do one for a seller, one for a buyer tour, or you can just create one that fits more of your needs. So, let's use my address, for example. Okay, select that. Next. All right. It automatically populates with what kind of home this is, how many bedrooms, square footage, year built, etc. So, when we see the comp details, it automatically populates with similar homes, of course, in the area. You can expand that radius as much as you want. Let's say somebody isn't sure exactly where they want to live. They're just looking for that type of home in the area. You could do it that way. You could also do just by neighborhood um, or whatever you want, you know. Property type, you can set accordingly as well as you can set a range for um, construction years, closing date, this says only pull comps that have sold within however many months. Bed count, square footage, you can set a range. You can also include listings that don't list square footage but align with all other selected criteria. And of course you can set lot size but that is optional. If there are specific listings that somebody has been looking at, um, maybe they saw one that for an open house that they really liked. You can put that in there as well. All right. Next, let's build the actual CMA. Okay, so it did it. And here's what we're looking at. Our CMA um, uh, range here includes all of this different data, including most recent sold, the highest sold, Average of closed comps, 335.5. Average of pending comps, 565.5. Dang. Well, I'm not trying to sell my house soon, but man, <laughs> that's good for me to know. Um, you can also do it by price per square foot. Um, if you want to suggest your own uh, listing price, for example, you can say, okay, I want to set this at... 500,000 and it will add in your pin right there. Um, you can also set a range, let's say from 450 to 500,000 and it'll pin it approximately right there. Um, you can also, oh, that was the results of our pending comps right there. We can also check out different um, trends in, uh, in the area for the available comps um, as well as include other features that they're looking for, estimates and outliers as well. The market assessment, this is not exactly what they'll see. They'll see it in more of a presentation view, um, but this is just the fast facts that it already generated. So let's go ahead and say we want to create a presentation. Give it just a second. And there we go. Presentation prepared for 
my address. Now, in this presentation, it generated six sections with 12 slides automatically. There are more than that, and you can add more, you can design your own, um, but the ones that they already have in Core Present are actually pretty good. The value of an agent, for example. If I press Add Slide, you can see the library of all these different slides that you have the ability to choose from. Um, maybe, you know, if you wanted to do a CMN one or show off your Remax award, your certifications, um, if you're doing a luxury listing, um, then go for that. Uh, you can always put in some Remax branded stuff. It does not hurt at all. Oh, look, they already have a CMNH one. Um, a number screenshot for Remax agents, global power if you're trying to convince somebody to list with you. Um, and then the, the ones up here, I mean, they are good. Home buying process, what buyers want from their agents. Let's see what this one sheeter is. Let's add selected slide and click on it. And cool. Yeah, this is all of the information and data in the presentation, but just on one sheet. Let's say I don't want that. Let's say I want to go through the whole thing. You could see the comps, including some of the data. It shows that CMA little timeline thing as well as, oh wait, let's see what else that there is here. Uh, pricing misconceptions slide, which says, yeah, you might not want to trust Zillow necessarily. Um, it describes what an AVM is and how it's an estimate um, and how you might want to just be careful and that's why you want to trust an agent. In the market analysis section, it has that data. Oh, so it is exactly what you're going to see there. So, and then it also has why pricing correctly is important. In addition to what factors influence pricing or the importance of an opening weekend whatever works for your presentation, right? In the marketing and buyer activity section, it has buyer demand in the area. You can toggle on and off comparable supply here, so that's pretty cool. And it shows the number of buyers looking for homes in that area. And then this one shows I have interested buyers searching in this area and it would even include a little snippet of what buyer examples might look like, which this auto populated from our data for Remax Alliance, for homes near the address, for online engagements near the address around that price. Like that is something that you don't have to do yourself. You can pull it like that. My marketing plan, of course. You want to let people know that you are going to list it everywhere because you can. Um, and Core Social, I mean, if you use Core Social, which I haven't gotten to yet, awesome. If not, you might not need that right now. What other sites do we have? We've got Property Boost. That's a, another core um, application, I believe. And the importance of staging. Of course, if you're listing, that's always a good talking point. And then for next steps, it auto generates this nice little title card that has a let's get started button call to action that I believe I'm sure you can customize that message. So there you go. That's what it looks like on web. It can also be exported just as a PDF and the way that you would attach that to somebody is hit present and share, save and add client, you add it to the client that is already in your smart CMA. You can even add a listing agreement link, a net sheet, a video link, 
or whatever you want. You can even just send them the link to this presentation. That took like less than five minutes. Um, and I'm sure that you using your agent knowledge can do it even quicker than I can. So there you go. That is how you use Core Present. Honestly, what have you got to lose? Start using it. <laughs> so good luck and let me know if you have any questions.